So we've been working together for quite some time now. It's been a little over uh, one year, almost uh, one and a half. Um, it's been a it's been an awesome time working with you and, and a, very educational, to be honest with you, from, from my end. And yes, about your football career and, and everything you've gone through and, and certainly even deeper about the things you do for the community you came from, the community you're in right now. Um, and like Tone said, I'd love to get to that point. But you, sh you have a unique story being in the league and being in football that long um, where you've experienced plenty of injuries and plenty of setbacks in your, your playing career um, that I think people can learn from um, in a unique way of making certain decisions on who's in their, their corner, so to speak, who, you know, how you vetted out um, professionals to get what you needed from them to get to the places you're at. But mm -hmm. I think from that, we have to obviously hear your, your story on, you know, a little bit of, you know, how, where you came from, where you, where you went and, and kind of a little bit about your career first. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, first I want to, uh, express my gratitude, uh, really to the both of you. And, you know, like you mentioned, we've been working, you know, one-on-one -on -one together for a little over a, a year now. Mm -hmm. And, uh, in some, I guess uncomfortable situations. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, dealing with the business of of the league and mm -hmm. and and being a free agent, but uh, but willing to take the time out of your schedule to to be consistent with me and mm -hmm. and uh, to always make sure uh, that I'm prepared and yeah. ready to go. You know, last season I didn't get signed until literally the last week. Yeah, you know, amazing. of the season. Yeah. yeah, and you know, it, it didn't happen often. No, no, <laughs> no, no. My agent uh, at the time he says he called it a miracle. Yeah, <laughs> it was amazing. He's, he, he's talking to me on the phone. He says, you know, I'll, I'll never say never again. You yeah. know, I'll yeah. never say never again. Uh, but a lot of guys would have checked out. You know, yeah. and, and yeah. Our, you yeah. know, yeah. We, Aaron and I had those conversations. Like, you know, you know, maybe we should just, you know, essentially throw in the towel and. Mm -hmm. And then we give each other this kind of look like, no, 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 we'll, no we'll, we'll finish it out. You know, yep. I'm a finisher. He's a finisher. Mm -hmm. And that's why, uh, you know, we have such a great relationship. Um, man, my, you know, my, my sports history is uh, long. You know, I, I, I started playing sports at the age of eight. Baseball was my first love. I know you're a big baseball guy. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I grew up in the Bay Area. So naturally, my favorite team was the Oakland A's. And. My favorite player of all time is Ricky Henderson, and yeah. that was of course. Kind of, good choice. Yeah. There's a good choice. Yeah. 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 I'm with you. So I kind of modeled my game after that. <laughs> I wanted to butt. Uh, I wanted to, you know, bat first. I wanted to butt and get on base, still second. Yep. Still third. You know? Still yeah. all the bags. <laughs> you know? well, it was easier back in those days, you know. <laughs> Not as much. Uh, but when I, you had thighs like him. Right. Well, I, I wish, yeah. you know. <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't quite built that way, but I did have the speed, though. Yeah. yeah. There you, know? you go. Yeah, I was, I was pretty confident in that. Uh, then, then you know, then a basketball. Uh, the following year, you know, got into my hands, and I and I started to, you know, watch Jordan and and Kobe. You know, some of my all-time favorite players. And then I started to play football at the age of ten, and it was it was uh, it was kind of weird how I started playing because, um, at the time, I was a I was a fourth grader, and I lived right down the street from this park. It was called Irvington Park. Literally, like I lived on one corner, and on the other corner. You cross the street, there's Irvington Park. You know, I mean, it's a park. You know, go there, you swung on the swings yeah. and all, all this kind of stuff. You played on the basketball courts. Uh, but there was always something going on on Saturdays. And it was like a crowd of people and there was barbecues and all that kind of stuff. Now, obviously, like, you know, I'm just a, a, a fourth grader, so I'm not going to go up there by myself, you know, to, to see what's going on. I never really paid it any attention, but you'd hear people cheering and, you know, cheerleaders doing like routines and stuff like that. I'm like, what the heck is going on up there? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I must find out. Yeah, so I, you know, I go to school and, and uh, you know, I remember, you know, I go to class and one of my buddies, his name is Justin Ramos. We've known each other since kindergarten, still really good friends to this day. And, uh, you know, we started talking about Irvington Park. He says, yeah, it's a football league going on up there. And I'm like, really? Like, I want, you know, I want to play, yeah. you know, like, you know, how can I play, you know? And uh, he's like, oh, you know, you got to do all the sign up and stuff like that. It's too late now. The season's already started. So the following year, you know, his parents really were the ones who 
kind of got all the stuff for me, the paperwork and everything like that to help me get set up. So I started playing football when I was 10 years old. I remember we had to do a tryout back in, and that day I had to do a tryout. It was at Kennedy High School. And, uh, you know, even from the very beginning of, of my football story, uh, I was the underdog. You know, I felt like I was always kind of looked over. Mm -hmm. And from the start, I had to have this underdog mentality because, you know, here we are, we're doing this tryout. It's, it's me and maybe like, I don't know, maybe 25 to 30 other kids, you know, in this tryout. And then after the tryout, there's a draft. Um, mm -hmm. And so... That's, that's tough at that age. That's yeah, all they, do that's, that's they do a draft. They do like a draft, you know, and, it, it, it's like, and it's the teams. And it's like the teams are like the actual NFL team. So you have the Dallas Cowboys and oh, the yeah. San Francisco. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't like the Fremont Niners. Yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah. You know, they, <laughs> the they tried deal. to make it like yeah. official, you know. Yeah. So you're, you're trying out because all these coaches are there. They're scouting you oh, yeah. to see, hey, you know, I think I'm going to pick that player first in the draft. And the draft was – just like the league. It's like the team who was the worst team last year got to pick first in the draft. This, you know? is, this is the Pee Wee Combine. This is yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. <laughs> the seriously. watches well, everything. Seriously, yeah. that's what it was. I'm like, I mean, it was, and it, was, it was super fun. And I felt like I was the best. Mm -hmm. Similarly to like the NFL draft, mm -hmm. where if you, you know, maybe, you know, I didn't have the highest vertical. I jumped to 36, you know. Mm -hmm. I didn't have the longest broad jumped. I think it was a 10 flat. You know, I didn't have the fastest 40, but I ran a 4.44, four, 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 mm -hmm. which is pretty fast for a guy who's 225. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? That's and, I don't uh, want to get in the way of you. Yeah, and I was like, well, <laughs> you know, I don't. I essentially don't think any of these running backs are, are better than me. But, but going back, so we do the trial. We have the draft. The first two teams that have picks in the draft are the Dallas Cowboys, mm -hmm. number one, and the Buffalo Bills, number two. And I forget who was three. So... The Cowboys are up first, and I remember seeing the coaches because they got their Cowboys shirts on. I remember seeing them at the club. <laughs> and uh, they ended up picking another kid, another running back at that, you know, over me. You know? I, know the, I know the origin story. Yeah. Right? Why yeah. you hate the Cowboys. I know. <laughs> this is so great. <laughs> and it. and, uh, and may, you know, maybe it does them from yeah. Atlanta because I've never <laughs> been a fan of Emmett Smith. <laughs> Or any of those guys. I like Michael Irvin so and I like Deion Sanders, but other than that, I can't think of any other Cowboys that I've actually been fans of. <laughs> Seriously. But uh, uh, and then I get picked second by the Bills. Uh, Joe Shammy was my first football coach ever, and uh, and I, I remember thinking, I was just like, man, like I can't believe this. Like you know, like I looked like yeah, I wanted to be number one, yeah. you know. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, and so, I had like a, a, a chip on my shoulder, and I was young too. I've, I've, I've always been like, for whatever reason, because my birthday is in December. Like I've always been like the youngest kid in the class, you know. Uh, I went through puberty later than everybody else, you know what I mean? Like everybody's growing up faster than me, you know. But uh, so, you know, Joe and the Bills picked me, and uh, here I am, ten years old. So the league was divided. You know, you had your younger division, your older division. 8 to 12 was a younger division. 12 to, I think it was 15, no, 14. You were, you were in the older division, mm -hmm. you know. You could play, like, in Pop Warner as a freshman in high school if you wanted. Like, if you felt like you were too small, I guess. But it was like, if you're in high, like, come on. <laughs> like, you're in high school now, you yeah. know. Like, it's over. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> <It's> let's, <laughs> yeah, let's advance, you yeah. know. But some kids would do it and, you know, whatever. But, and if you were 12, it, you know, depending on your weight, you know, older, younger, whatever. And coach, he told me, says, you know, I've never had a 10-year-old running back. Now, he was an older gentleman. This guy was already in his 50s, you know, mm. and he'd been coaching Papa Warner for a lot of years, you know, like 20, you know, like that's a lot for Papa Warner. It's you know? a, <laughs> a long time. Around, right? <laughs> yeah. You know, he'd been around a long time. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, he's a ten-year, ten-year Pop Warner coach. Yeah, really? you know, he's like all my running backs have been eleven or twelve because you're a little older. Like one year makes a difference. Oh, and, yeah. Like your at, size at and that strength, age. Yeah, yeah. You know, and uh, and I'm like, coach, I want to be around. My favorite player is Barry Sanders. So mm -hmm. of all time. So even when I started playing football, I'm like, you know, I'm going to be the next Barry Sanders. Yes. I want to. He's like, okay, you know, I'll try you out running back as a 10-year-old. Ten, ten you know, I believe to this day I was his best player ever. 
I'll tell you. I'll tell you one quick best, story. Best steel draft pick ever. <laughs> yeah, I, I, best value pick. I feel it. You know, Probably I feel true. like I was a bad. I, I, mean, I had a really good. I had a really good ten year old year. You know, um, breakout season. Yeah, yeah. So I remember we were um, picking numbers. All right, my first year. So Coach Joe, he goes, uh, "What number do you want to wear?" And I'm like, "I want to wear number 33." You know, 33 was like, I'm like, it's a good number. You know, he's like, why do you want to wear number 33? And I said, well, I want to be the first player ever mm -hmm. to wear number 33 and make it to the Hall of Fame. And he laughed at me, you know, and I couldn't understand it. Like, I was like, what is, why, like, I'm serious. Yeah. Like, I'm 10, <laughs> but I'm serious. Like, Crush your dreams are your first yeah, round pick. Like, I want to go to the NFL. I want to be number 33. I want to make the Hall of Fame. No running back in the history has ever made it to the Hall of Fame with the number 33. Now, I think he was laughing. Well, I know he was laughing because I, was, I didn't know my history well enough at that time. Obviously, you got like Tony Dorsett, mm -hmm. a cowboy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, yeah. like, you know, strikes like, again. Yeah. Just come yeah. on, man. <laughs> and so he says, you know what? I'm going to have you wear number 40. And I'm thinking to myself, number 40. Now, yeah. mind you, I'm a, I'm a 49er fan. So the first person that comes to mind, if you guys can remember, was oh, William right. Floyd. Yeah. And I'm like, number 40, that's like, a, that's a, first of all, that's a fullback number. William Floyd played fullback. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, I never saw any running backs really wearing 40 like that. You know, it's like 40, <laughs> like, a, you know, that'd be blocking people. <laughs> yeah. Like, what is this? And he says, uh, he asked me, he says, do you know who Gail Sayers is? And I'm like, nope, I have no idea. You know, he's like, he's a famous running back for the Chicago Bears. And I said, coach, I think you're mistaken. I think you're talking about Walter Payton. Walter Payton was 32. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he laughs again. He goes, you know, you got to go back further. Mm. He says, go do your research. I don't even think Google was around at the time. I don't even know. But he said, do your research before Walter. There was, uh, there was Gail Sears. You run like him. And I used to run like, before I, I ran track and actually like learned how to like run with, I used to run like, like, you know, like, Head huge. all the way back, yeah. like chest out, huge like target. Just, yeah, yeah, just, <laughs> huge target. Just, you know what I mean? Like, and I guess he ran similarly because he mm. was tall, long legged, or whatever. So, anyway, uh, that's how I got started, nice. you know, playing ball. And, uh, you know, you go through and you go through your Pop Warner years, and high school was uh, such an incredible time, probably the favorite, you know, portion of my football life was. The four years I played high school and and uh, really the two years that I was on varsity, you know, those are really special, special times in your junior and senior year before you end up graduating. Um, and, and those are friends that I'm still friends with to this day. Um, and so uh, and you just played varsity as a junior and senior. Yeah, I you know, I, I was on the freshman team and uh, it's a funny story, you know, about I was young. So mm -hmm. when I was a sophomore. They wanted me to play varsity. Our starting quarterback, Justin, who I mentioned earlier, so we ended up going to Irvington together, and we were together our freshman year. He was our quarterback, and our class, you know, our class, we knew we were going to be special. Mm -hmm. You know, we were like, this is going to be a special class. Irvington's never done anything, you know, historically in football. And we were really determined to change that. Like, like everybody was, like, on the same page, like, we're going to turn this thing around. We're going to win. We're going to be great. You know, and uh, it was a real blessing, like, uh, to be in that time with those people. And so, JT, we have a great freshman year. Sophomore year comes around. JT goes to varsity. You know, Justin, we call him Broke JT. Up the chemistry. He goes to varsity, oh, right? Geez. And so, so I get invited to varsity, and another guy gets invited to varsity. His name is Tyler Broom. Really, really special player. And Tyler says, you know what? I'm going to stay at JV, you know? And, uh, and you know, granted, varsity needed a quarterback. Uh, and so, you know, it was my opportunity to make a decision. And it, my decision didn't even matter because I was only 14 going into the season still. Mm -hmm. And I don't turn 15 until December, and the season's over yeah. by then, you know? So legally, I wasn't even allowed to play varsity. Gotcha. And, yeah. Yep. And right. so because I was a 14 year old. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. And so I, I, you know, I end up I end up staying at JV. But, you know, we end up, you know, 
going to varsity the, the following year as a junior and reconnecting with JT and all of our original yes. freshman team. Yes. We go to the state championship that year. We end up losing to Los Lomas, but we end, we got an opportunity to play in the uh, the Coliseum where the Raiders play. Sweet, yeah. And uh, God, there's so many plays that I can think of in my mind <laughs> <laughs> that uh, yeah. hey, got you hit you hit it like a, a sensitive spot because yeah. we <laughs> lost that game by a touchdown. And I'm thinking about all the plays that happened <laughs> in that game. But you go through as an athlete so young. Uh, and you just you, you feel invincible. Like I mean, like I never got hurt in high school or, or any time before that. Nothing serious. Sure. You no, know, you might sprain an ankle, walk it off, get stepped on or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I never got any real stingers. But you know, you, you take a couple hits where it's like, whoo. You know, you shake it off and you. I think I missed one game uh, out of the four years that I played high school. It was like a like an oblique. Like, I never even knew what that was. Like, something on your side. Yeah, it was like. Something over here can't let you run. I couldn't run. Yeah. (laughs) I couldn't run. So you swing your arm this way, you're like, why? Yeah, and I didn't, I couldn't understand it. I'm like, what's going on? Like, what is this? (laughs) I have to do with my legs. Like, I can't can't run. So I missed one game uh, because of that, uh, but that was it. And so um, I go to, I get a scholarship. Go to college, go to pick Utah State. I pick Utah State. You know, I I originally wanted to go to uh, Boise, but they ended up pulling their scholarship for another running back um, who actually ended up being drafted the same year I got drafted to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and had a had a really great career. Um, I can't think of his name right now, but um, you know I. I was getting recruited. I played both sides of, sides of the ball. So, you know, teams wanted me to play, excuse me, schools wanted me, I guess I used to be saying teams because of the pro, but sure. yeah. schools at the college level wanted me to play defense. And I was a pretty good defensive player, but I, you know, my, my dream from the, from the beginning was to be a running back. I mean, I wanted to be Barry Sanders. That's who I wanted to be, right. you know? Right. And so I said, uh, you know, I want to go to Utah State. Utah State way back once upon a time was a was a good school good team good football team then for a long time like over the past like 30 years i mean they'd just been in this drought i mean they just weren't good you know and i'm like i like that challenge right there now normally kids they go to a uh, uh, I guess a lesser of a school because they feel like it gives them an opportunity to play earlier. Sure, sure. That wasn't my, that wasn't my mindset. I mean, I had to redshirt my my first year, my freshman year. Granted, it was because of an injury, but um, even in my second year, I didn't get, end up getting a starting job until my third year there. So, but I liked the aspect of a team that had this terrible. It, it reminded me of my high school because here we were when we came in as freshmen, right? Irvington had nothing, yeah. like in the history of the school, football-wise. Mm-hmm. Nothing. No scholarships, no playoffs, no, no nothing. And our class came in, and boom, it, we completely flipped it. Went to the state championship, went to the semis our senior year, which hurts even worse than the <laughs> championship <laughs> game. I feel like that was Sorry. coming. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, it's something like Utah State, yeah. you know. And, uh, and so we, I ended up going there, you know, long story short, uh, you know, we took it, my, it took until my last year, but in 2011, I got there in 07, 2011, we got our first bowl game in 30 years of, of the school's history, you know? So, but I hit some adversity early there. That's, that's and, awesome, man, though. 